Hey, what's good? Mark Brooks here with Applied Vision Baseball. Today, we're going to be talking about how elite hitters identify elite pitches. Learning how to identify the most common pitches in baseball, spin, speed, and location is such a crucial aspect of pitch recognition and one of the most important skill sets a hitter can have. Let's talk some pitch types. We'll start with the main ones, the fastball, curveball, changeup, slider, and two seam. And before we get started, let's get one thing clear. Hitting is hard. It takes 400 milliseconds for an average major league fastball to reach home plate. That means a hitter has about 125 milliseconds to recognize the spin, speed, and location of a baseball to put a good swing at where they think the ball will be at the point of contact. Hitting is hard. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, if you could leave a like, subscribe so that you don't miss another video. For each pitch, we'll discuss spin, speed, movement, and the hitter's strategy to make solid contact. The four seam fastball, AKA hitter cheese cheddar, average major league fastball, 85 to 98, up to 104 miles per hour. The spin, because of the tighter spin rate, the ball tends to have a darker shade. The red seams will give it a light brown or faded blood red shade. The darker the ball, the faster the spin rate. Movement, the fastest pitch in baseball, a good fastball will explode out of the hand. Pitchers who throw 93 plus can pitch effectively up in the zone to induce lazy fly balls. On occasion, a pitcher with a three-quarters release or a left-handed pitcher will have some tail or natural movement with the four-seam fastball. Approach. The hitter needs to start on time to be on time. Hitters at the elite level do not get cheated by the fastball, period. You have to be geared up and ready to pull the swing trigger. Curveball, AKA the hook, 12-6, deuce, deucey deuce, bender, Lord Charles, yellow hammer, and number two. Average major league curveball, 70 to 80, spin an even lighter shade than other pitches. In most cases, the slowest spin rate, so there's a light pinkish shade to the ball spin. The movement, a good breaking ball will have a Bugs Bunny loop 12-6 drop. Think a clock with hands at 12 and six. Lastly, a beginner's curveball may have the index finger up and off the ball. Approach. Hitters can learn to see the pop to recognize a curveball out of the pitcher's hand. If it starts low, it'll end up in the dirt. If it starts high, it will end up in the strike zone. Hitters have to post up so they're not chasing the ball out of the zone. The changeup, AKA change piece, the Vulcan, average major league changeup 70 to 80 miles per hour. The spin, for some, the lightest off-white shade of all the other pitches. The spin direction is the opposite of the breaking ball and closer to the forcing fastball with obvious velocity differences. The movement, a good changeup from a right-handed pitcher will have a one to seven type movement and it will look like as if it drops off the table. Similar to the curveball, the hitter will need to load late, post up, and be aggressive up in the zone early in the count so they're not chasing pitches out of the strike zone or leaking with their front side. They will need to let the ball travel deeper in the zone to put a good swing on the ball. Slider, AKA slide piece, major league average slider 80 to 93 miles per hour. The spin, a darker shade than a breaking ball. Most sliders will have a red dot at around two o'clock. The movement, a slider typically breaks toward the pitcher's glove side. The slider from a right-handed pitcher tends to move down and away from a right-handed hitter. A good slider is a hard mix between a fastball and a curveball, but works more as an off-speed pitch instead of a breaking ball, though some sliders will definitely break more than others. Pitchers will throw their slider off the fastball to keep the hitter off balance since the slider looks very similar to the fastball out of the pitcher's hand. The approach. Similar to the changeup, the hitter has to look for something up in the zone because this pitch tends to look like the fastball out of the pitcher's hand. Having an opposite field approach is a non-negotiable. The two seam, AKA sinker, the runner, major league average two seam, 80 to 93, up to 100 miles an hour. The spin for the two seam, the pitch's downward spin rate will make the seams look like blurred vertical railroad tracks moving downwards. The movement, a good right-handed two seam fastball will tell in on a right-handed hitter and move away from a left-handed hitter with a slight downward movement. Expect to see a lot of jam swings, ground balls, and broken bats when thrown effectively. The approach. The main point with the two-seam is to adjust. A good two-seam fastball will make an average fastball heavy and hard to track into at point of contact. The hitter will need to do a good job of swinging at where the ball will be at point of contact, also known as psychotic vision capabilities. All right, and there you have it. These were some spin, movement, and pitch types with the main pitches thrown at the highest level, as well as some tips and tricks on how to recognize these pitch types. Hope you got something out of it. More importantly, I hope you do something with it. As hitters, we're only as good as the pitches we swing at. What elite level hitters all have in common is off the charts pitch recognition skills. This is actually something that you can train 
at the Applied Vision Baseball Vision Training Platform. You can do it on your computer, your phone, your TV. You can also rehearse success and simulate live at bats in our VR training. Anyways, that's all I got. Let me know what you thought of this video. Any key takeaways? What are some pitches that you've been having trouble with? What's another topic you'd like for me to tackle in another video? Let me know in the comments. Till next time, subscribe, leave a like, question everything. Be and stay a student of the game.